have little cribs. Cribs for the babies. Right, so this is the nursery. I think it's called the Small World Nursery at. I'm, this is the Small World Nursery on the Disney Dream. All right, let's see if we can find the next, the next uh, daycare area.
have some bingo luck over there. Very, very cool. But don't worry, because I do have another one to give away. And I want to know who wants this one? <laughs> it's Jay! Right there, here in the front. Congratulations on all to you. But you know what? There's one more special one to give away. It includes those plushies, and it comes with the Disney Cruise Line backpack! <laughs> Shout your name. No, it's for them. It's for them. It's for them. Who is it? Janet Reno. Janet Reno. Janet Reno. Janet Reno. Congratulations on our team. You are right. Well, it is now time for us to move on to game number four. But you know what? Here we go. And just 46 numbers all ago or less. Last time around was 071. Every back in the eyes, it's I-19. I-1 and a 9, I-19. If you got to say I-I-I. I-I-I. Alright, so we are here at the D Lounge for some family fusion and we're going to bring you guys along to watch some of it. So when you walk in they give you these little remote control things and I'm not quite sure what you do with it yet but I'm thinking that you get to answer questions. Alright, let's play some family fusion. Family Fusion! Oh yeah, everybody, hello! Hey, welcome everybody, this is the D Lounge and my name is Brad. I come to you all the way from... What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull one member of our family out to the floor and we're gonna ask a question about them and see how well our answers match. So right now, I would like to see a motherly figure. A motherly figure, please join me down here on the floor directly in front of your podium. So take a look at those screens. Mom gets her fashion tips from one of the following. Does she get her fashion tips from the fairy godmother from Cinderella? Very classic, very elegant. Does she get her fashion tips from Edna Mode from The Incredibles? Very sleek, modern, and uh, cool. Does she get her fashion tips from Cruella de Vil? Very high fashion, very exquisite. Or Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. She has no style whatsoever. All right, families on stage, you're going to touch the answer you think your mom is going to say, or what you think she is. Touch that answer, of course. We've got some thinking music coming your way. Let's see your name was. Well, nice to meet you. And we have these four options. Our family locked in. Now, families don't give anything away until we reveal it. No giggles, no cheers, no moans, no groans. All right, mom. We have one of these to choose from. Mary Godmother is very elegant, very classy. We've got Endemone, who's very sleek, very modern. Corella Deville, who's very high fashion. And then we have Sally, she does not have any fashion sense whatsoever. What do you think your family said about you? Cruella. Cruella, you have a very high fashion, very exquisite. You go to all the fashion shows and pick the best things off the rack. Let's see what your family locked in with. What did you say about mom? They said your fashion sense is very classy, very elegant. And I saw one of the kids duck behind the podium. That is not a match. Aw, not a match indeed. What do you say to that answer? They know better than that. They know better than that, all right. Well, to be fair, Cinderella's gown is beautiful, so I guess they just say that you dress very beautifully. All right, but no, you're not. You're, you're getting fashion tips from her. Remember, Fairy Godmother made the dress for Cinderella, okay. right? That's okay. who we're going with here. Uh, all right, coming over here. What's your name? Crystal. Crystal, very nice. Again, we have those four Disney characters. What did your family say about your fashion sense? Edna. So you're very sleek, very modern. Maybe you shop at Target, not Target, right? Target. Let's see what our family locked in with. They said you get your fashion tips from... 
Sally. Oh. They said you don't have any fashion sense at all. That's not a match. Uh-oh. What do you have to say to that? I, I don't know. You don't know? Are you going to say something in the car right home? Yeah. Probably. Sorry about that. Not a match. Coming over here, what is your name? Doris. Doris. Nice to meet you. Again, we've got those four Disney characters. What do you think your family behind you said? They're giving you a nice big bad behavior uh, smirk right now. What do you think? Edna Mode. Edna Mode, you're very sleek, you're very modern. Uh, uh, you, you get the nicest things, right? Let's see if your family agrees. What do they say? Oh, from uh, Fairy Godmother, you're very elegant, very classy. You can put on a dress and look instantly beautiful. How do you feel about that answer? That's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. It's not Sally from Nightmare. I'm looking at you guys back there. And finally, tell us your name, please. Michelle. Michelle. Uh, you know what the drill is. We have those four Disney characters. What did your family say about your fashion sense? Probably none of the above, but I'll go with the Edna lady. The Edna lady. So she's very sleek. She says no capes. Remember from Incredibles? No capes. She likes the nicest materials, uh, the, the most... Uh, F high fashion materials here, not Cruella's necessarily. But uh, you say, Edna, what did our family lock in with? They said, Fairy Godmother, very classy, very elegant, not a match. <laughs> Listen, you're on vacay. You didn't have to get all fancy. It's like, Mark, very good. You got that. I got that. All right, so at school, what do you think your family said you're most like? I like to ask questions and like to learn. You like to learn? That's awesome. What's your favorite subject in school? Math, very good. You're definitely not going to be an entertainer then <laughs> because all of our theater kids are all about math. It's just a, a thing of trade. I can't do math at all. Um, so you said you love to learn. What's your second favorite subject? Reading. Reading? I was going to say lunch. That's why I failed. All right. Stay in school, Marcus. Stay in school. All right, so you said you love to learn. Your family locked in and said that you actually run around and cause mischief like Dash. Oh, no. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's about to pop off. It's okay, Marcus, hold on. It's okay. Let's find out. Now, why'd you say that? Because he does cause mischief. He doesn't, he doesn't like to, like, he don't like to. He doesn't, hold on. Now, let's be serious, let's be serious. You like school, you like to have fun, but you also, you also like to cause a little bit of trouble, don't you? Because it's no fun if you don't, right? See, he learns from his mistakes. That's a great answer. Good job, Marcus. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Now, what's your name? Corinne. Corinne? Corinne. Corinne, nice to meet you. We got those four options up there. Your family did say something. What do you think? Bambi. Bambi, you love to learn. What's your favorite subject? Math. Math, awesome, very cool. What did our family lock in with? They said, you run around and cause mischief like Dash. Uh-oh. Oh no. Tell us the story. What's the deal, Jin? At Epcot's Journey into Imagination attraction, visitors will meet a mischievous purple dragon named Figment, Fireball, Fledfoot, or Phantasmic. One, two, three, or four. Type the answer on your tape, uh, on your podium what you think it is. We are locked in on stage, which means I need you to answer the question too. On the count of three, shout it out. One, two, three. All right, let's see if you're right. Go ahead and reveal the answer for us, please. It was Figment, the purple dragon named Figment. Congratulations, all four teams did get that correct. The actors who portray Zack and Cody on The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody are in real life named Cody and Zack, Dylan and Cole, Kevin and Kyle, or Phineas and Ferb. Type the answer on your podium that you think is correct. Do you think it's one, two, three, or four? Shout it out. Let's see if you are correct. What is the correct answer? There you go. It was two, Dylan and Cole. Looks like two of our teams got that correct this time. Let's keep it going with another Disney trivia question. In the 1961 Disney comedy, The Absent-Minded Professor, the title character Ned Brainerd is played by Fred McMurray. In the 1997 remake, Flubber, Ned Brainerd was played by Eddie Murphy, Jim Carrey, Christopher Lloyd, or Robin Williams. One, two, three, or four. Go ahead and put the answer on your podium. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? One, two, three, or four? Let's see if you're correct. What is the correct answer? Robin Williams. All four of our teams did get that correct. Nicely done. We've got time for one more Disney trivia question, so look at your screens. 
Riders on Splash Mountain will take a wild, wet journey as they follow the adventures of Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Lizard, Br'er Beaver, or Br'er Crocodile. One, two, three, or four. Type your answers for me, please. Then on stage, audience, what is the answer? One, two, three, or four? One! Let's see. It is Br'er Rabbit was the answer we were looking for. Everyone, let's keep this round going right now. Let's take a look at our next Disney character's clue. I am a prince. <laughs> There's a lot of them. And then we want to try to guess for 30 points. Okay, clue number two. I'm a prince and I have a horse. For 10 points, let's see clue number three. I fought a dragon. We did bring it. Prince Philip. Prince Philip. Is that the prince we're looking for? Yes, it is. 10 points goes right over here to family number three. Nicely done.